Good morning, guys. I am so exhausted. So tired. We didn't go to bed till like, really, really late last night. Like, I don't even want to say. It was super late, but <clears throat> I'm up now. Justin got up for a minute, and he, he decided he wasn't ready, so he went back to bed for a little bit. But I had to get up because I had some customers, or a customer, asking about our blanket sizes and stuff like that. And, um... It's kind of hard since we don't have like a shop. People can't just like come over and like, you know, look at the sizes in person and stuff. So even when I say like a baby blanket is 30 by 36, some people have a hard time kind of picturing, you know, what that would be and like how big of a baby or toddler would be able to use that and for how long and, you know, things like that. So I offered to send a picture of me holding each size so that she could get kind of like a a reference I guess on how big they would be so I sent over her some pictures and that's what made me get out of bed I'm trying to make a sale you know by the way my acne is terrible right now I don't know what is going on I haven't changed anything besides anything besides my face wash but I've only been using that for a few days and I already had this breakout stuff down here but now I have this and under my nose I don't know, I'll keep using it for a little while, and if I continue to break out, I'll switch back to my old one and see if it goes away. Anyway, I just wanted to chat with you guys for a minute, start the vlog. <sighs> I'm going to get the tree up today. I am feeling rested enough for that, which doesn't take much because I've just been wanting to get the tree up. Okay, so we got up. Justin got his butt out of bed. Told him we stayed up very, very late. What do you see from the land? So... <laughs> Um, but yeah, we got up, we had some lunch, and we got ourselves ready, and now we are going to Walmart because Justin needs to look at the new Call of Duty. Hmm. <laughs> um, I and zombies, I don't play zombies, I haven't played zombies in years. Um, my little brother got it, and he's been begging for somebody to play with him, so Justin's gonna go look at it. We don't know if we're gonna get it yet or not, but I'm sure we will. <laughs> being honest with each other um but i don't know if you guys play xbox or a console but they only have so much memory on them and once you play like once you have a, just a couple of games all your memory is taken up on there so we need to try and find an external hard drive so it's not like back in the day it used to you could like get a disc and you put the disc in the game and just play, just play it play instantly the but now you have the disc and you still have to install the game yeah you still have to do a download and all this yeah. crap, so. and it's like every single update is like 30 or 40 gigabytes yeah. and it's like what the hell like take up my whole space in one game so and then like the initial one is usually like 100 to 200 yeah 250 gigabytes so like it's just insane yeah and then um like even the new ones like me and Brian were talking on Snapchat just a minute ago and even the new ones only have one terabyte so if you download four fucking games you already um you already maxed yeah yeah and it's not including all the updates you have to do whenever they do new updates and stuff so which is dumb because yeah. you would think they want you to buy more games yeah it's very weird I don't understand it anyways I've been talking for like three minutes about an Xbox game so I'm gonna shut up and we're gonna go in and get it Okay, we found some hard drives. This one is $59 for a two terabyte, so that's actually a pretty good price. They have some of like the Xbox ones, like that are for the Xbox specifically, but they're more expensive, so we're gonna try this one, I think. All right, well, somebody, I don't know if you guys could tell, was jamming a little too crazy in there. <laughs> he kept playing with those stereos over there and turning them up and like just yelling weird random things. I don't know if he was just having a good day or if he was trying to make himself have a good day. So he was in there having hyping himself up but either way he was really loud and I was not wanting to get copyright striped so um, I didn't film anything else but all we did was get the uh, hard drive that we showed you guys and then we got the, the game so by the way little tip if you ever want to get a ex external hard drive for an Xbox or a PlayStation or something like that do not go and buy one of the ones that say Xbox on them or whatever they're more expensive go to the computer, just because they go to the computer section yeah because you know. they make you think like you have to buy that one because it says xbox on it but you don't and they're like we said that one was 59, yeah, 59 something like that 
and the like Xbox version of it was 71 and that was on sale 75. like oh 75 and it was on sale it was normally higher than that so yeah get you a computer one from the computer section it's a little cheaper but anyways um yeah we're gonna go home and probably stay home now that Justin got this game <laughs> yeah, it's true. But I need to clean up the house a little bit, um, edit a video for you guys, and then I think I'm gonna cook some lasagna for dinner tonight. So I'm finally getting the tree done. It's coming together. If you didn't um, watch our videos last year around Christmas time, we got a brand new tree, brand new decorations, and everything. Um, and we saw this one and we really liked it. We've never had one like this. We usually get like the big fluffy huge trees but this one's like a taller fluffy skinnier tree so we'll show it to you when it's done but yeah it's really cute i think this is the worst part of putting up a tree right does anybody actually enjoy fluffing a tree let me know if you do because i don't think anyone does but um it's nice to see it when it's done so yeah i'm gonna finish fluffing this tree and then get all the decorations and stuff on it all the bulbs and all the christmas bulbs balls whatever same thing the tree skirt our topper this isn't the f you know our favorite thing um we do like it it's cute um it doesn't match our decor perfectly but it does have some greens and some reds and then this kind of burlap sack color because that is what is on our tree skirt as well so it kind of matches and we um i feel like we went shopping for the tree later then we probably should have so there wasn't a lot of options but it's still cute and i like it so anyways um there's so much stuff i want to show you guys but you'll, you'll see the tree when it's done i remember it being like this last year me and justin were just talking about it but it's kind of like it's weird. It's not like the fluffing because I've tried it several different times and moved it around several different ways. But from certain angles, the tree is almost like an hourglass. Like it's big. Oh, my hair is beautiful. But it's like bigger on the bottom than it goes in. And then it comes kind of back out a little bit in some spots. So I don't know what's going on with that. But from this angle, it looks really, really good. I like it a lot. So, um, you know, I think it, all trees have their ugly side and everybody picks what side they want facing out for whenever they have company or take pictures and all that and we found our side so let me show you this side looks a lot better so it's super tall i think it's six foot maybe maybe seven foot actually i think it may be seven foot but it looks a lot better from this angle it kind of all flows down good um on the other angles it kind of goes in here and then back out so um but i think it's a cute we'll put it together and show you look how freaking cute i don't have it plugged in yet i need a little extension cord i forgot we don't have a plug-in on this side of the room um, we have one behind the tv but it's not going to reach so we need a small extension cord yeah, we still have lots of uh excuse me bulbs left i just don't know where to put them because i think it looks really cute how it is i don't remember if we used most of those last year maybe we just did it up last year i don't know but i think it looks really pretty the way it is so um yeah i used most of these fancy ones we got these more um they're not maybe they're glass i don't know um the more breakable fancy ones i used about half of those maybe more so i'm happy with it and then we also had these little things that we bought um from hobby lobby i think it was um they were it says 7.99 but i know we didn't pay that much for them so they probably were 50 percent off um but they're these pretty little sparkly red snowflakes because if you couldn't tell our theme was red gold and green last year and i really love it still this year I think it's beautiful. So anyways, we're going to put the tree topper on and then the tree skirt down there. And then we'll turn it on once we get an extension cord. It may not be today. I don't know. We, I still have to cook and edit the video and stuff. But once it's done, I'll show you guys the final thing. But yeah, I just wanted to show you the update so far. So it's a bit later. Um, I kind of went on. <laughs> a not really a cleaning rampage but kind of an organizing and cleaning i guess um if you guys see the background of our videos all the time when i film in the bedroom our countertop is an absolute mess it's so cluttered and just messy and it's the only excuse is that we're lazy honestly because it took me five minutes to clean it off if that 
So anyways, but are you guys ready? Ignore all these clothes behind me. I am also organizing our clothes. Um, we have our laundry basket that we, sometimes we throw our clean clothes in it just to get them out of the way. Um, and so stuff has been piling up in the laundry basket forever. And we have so many clothes and stuff behind me here that we need to go through and just figure out where everything goes. But look how clean. I literally have some candles. Where's my finger? Some candles, uh, the wax melt, the Scentsy Dilly, my makeup, some soap for the sink, and our fish. And that's it, our pet fish, you know? And it's so clean, clean and nice. I bet she's happy that she doesn't have to look at clutter anymore. Because I know I am, for sure. But other than that... We didn't get an extension cord from Walmart. Damn it, Justin's at Walmart right now with Matt. Crap. I think he's probably already on his way home. They've been gone for a little while. Oh, well, we'll get one later. But the tree's done, and I love it. And I really love these personalized ornaments that his mom made us last year. Look how cute. Love that. I always wanted, like, personalized with our names on it. I just thought that'd be really cute to do so I was really really happy when she made those for us last year but I'm waiting for Justin to get back from Walmart because we are gonna cook lasagna for Matt as well so I had to go ahead and pick up a little bit more hamburger meat because I just had like a little bit of leftover hamburger meat in a like sandwich baggie in the freezer from like a family pack that we had and then we that's just what was left so it was probably gonna be enough for me and Justin but um with us having leftovers tomorrow because he goes back to work and then now um Matt, we were feeding Matt because Macy's out of town <laughs> at her mom's and he cannot feed himself because he is a sissy. But, uh, so yeah, I had him pick up some more meat while they went to the store. They went to go get Matt the Call of Duty game now because Matt feels left out and alone because now Brian and Justin are going to be playing together and, <laughs> and Matt wouldn't have it. So they went to go get that. But anyway, I'm going to shut up. I just wanted to update you guys. Um, just waiting for them to get back so I can start making dinner. And then, oh, I have to edit a video. Oh, my God, I forgot. I better get doing that as well. All right. Well, while lasagna is cooking and my video is saving, I'm going to catch up on my little bookie book. Um, I don't know if I could say it's gotten better. I think it has gotten a little bit better. I'm still not like, I don't know. It's weird because it's like interesting enough to keep you wanting to read it, but it's not my favorite book by far. Um, Justin's burping in the background. He's playing the game with Brian. Matt is downloading his, but yeah, anyways, it's a decent book so far. I'll update you guys when it's finished because I'm literally like halfway. Oh no, I'm not. I'm like a third of the way through. So um, it probably won't take me very long to finish it. So, especially with Justin going back to work tomorrow. Well, hello guys. It is the next day and I have been doing a whole bunch of nothing today. Literally, I'm so, I'm finding it so hard to get motivated. Like, uh, I don't know why. I mean, I don't know. It's just been a rough time lately for everyone, not just me, but I have no motivation and I can't seem to find it. Um, but yeah. I'm like finding spiders everywhere, so that's fun. I've seen two already. Um, I'm trying to organize our freaking, I would show you, but I have all of our undergarments um, over here in baskets. Here, I can try to cover them. But, well, anyways, let me just show you partially. So, there's clothes, right? You guys saw them yesterday. By the way, I hate when my dryer doors open, but... I'm going through the clothes and there's some in the dryer still that we washed last night, washed and dried last night. So that doesn't stay open on its own. It always like creaks shut. So we have like a little rubber band tied to that pole that goes across there to hold it open. <laughs> Justin's little invention <laughs> or creation, whatever you want to call it, um, to hold the door open. But yeah, it does bug me that it's open, but that's why it's open. Cause I'm currently going through the clothes and stuff and there's some in there. Um, but yeah. Anyways, um, what was I even trying to tell you guys? I'm trying to go through these clothes. And our little small dresser thing, or this cube organizer thing that we use for a dresser, is completely full. And I'm not even done with the clothes. And there's still more in the dryer. So I don't know what to do. My Mine's not full at all. Like, I literally have so much room in mine. Like, here's my shirts. Only halfway full. And then let me turn this around. Here's my pants that has one thing in them. Um, so yeah, 
again, most of my clothes are in the dryer because we just did most of our laundry um, yesterday. So to be fair, that's where most of my clothes are. But Justin's shirts are uh, completely full. He doesn't even have a bin for his pants because we have three bins each, three cubes each, whatever you want to call them. One is for his scrubs that he wears to work. One is for his shorts and his shirts, his pants and his shirts, because the other one is for his underwear and socks. So we just, we don't have enough room. We should have gotten like an eight drawer one at least, but it is what it is. I'm trying to get everything to fit, but it's just not going to work. So maybe this is why we never have our clothes organized and we just have them thrown everywhere because they don't fit. Took a pause on the clothes organizing. Don't think I'm gonna get that figured out for now, but we had to get an extension cord for our Christmas tree. But we found the super cheap one for like a dollar ninety something. Those are really cute. We can put them in our apartment. <laughs> in it. And out. <laughs> yeah, I guess in it. Out beside it, in all the grass that we have. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Just fill it all up. We're back home and we're excited because. Da da da. The tree's on. It's so cute. I love it. Already? Yep. Like you can go see them? Uh, or they just got started? Oh. They're out. Out of the, we have like a recreation park here, the place that has the pond that we go to every once in a while. Um, they do a Christmas light show every year. And I guess they've already, I guess not already, it probably takes them a while to decorate and stuff. But anyways, they've been putting those up, I guess. We haven't been out there in a while. Justin goes that way to go to work, but, um. I guess I haven't been out that way in a while. But yeah, I'm excited. I love Christmas lights. It's one of our favorite things to do. Like, we literally can go right around with Christmas lights every single night and see the same ones and still be happy. I don't know. It's just Christmas lights are just... They make you happy, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, yeah. Now I was talking about that one. That's oh, yeah. The big one. That big that one. one the farm or whatever. Uh-huh. So I saw on TikTok someone shared one in Houston, Texas. And it was, like, one that you go walk through. And they had, like, little... Um, games and stuff for you to play that's cool. um and then they had oh they had a little uh s'mores kit that they gave you and they had a huge fire pit yeah. and you could make yourself a s'more s'mores roast a marshmallow i thought it was cool i was I like that yeah when we lived in graham it's about 45 minutes to an hour to wichita falls sorry it got dark for a second but um at the college there in wichita falls they had a huge like they had bunch of big things set up that you could go walk through. That one was really cool, too. Um, I think they had, like, cocoa and stuff. Hot cocoa yeah, fun. we were saying we should go back one of these years. I think it'd be fun to take Matt and Macy, because they love looking at Christmas lights just as much as we do, and we have a good time with it, but... Anyway, I'm going to start making dinner here in a little bit. Uh, we're not quite hungry yet, and the, we're just going to make... We used to make it all the time. I don't know if you guys remember. But it's, like, sausage with, like, Polish sausage chopped up and then onion bell pepper and then we put like squash. a cajun yeah squash and zucchini and then we put like a cajun seasoning in it and then rice. yeah and then we put it on top of rice sometimes or we just eat it by itself like that um so yeah we haven't had that in a really long time and justin thought it sounded good the other day when we were making grocery lists and so he put that on the list and it does sound pretty good but what i was gonna say is it doesn't take very long to make that so, um, I'm going to wait until we start getting hungry to make it. But, so I'll probably read my book while Justin plays the game. He's going to play Zombies. Um, that's the main reason he got the new Call of Duty. Because he loves zombies. And Brian loves zombies too. So now they can play together. Um, so I think they're going to do that. And I'm going to read my book for a bit. And then, like I said, cook dinner here in a little bit. Also, Justin got me. Did you show them that big jug you got? I don't think so. He is, if you, I feel like I always say, if you've been watching for a while, I got me one of these a while back. Not the same one, but, um, it was one similar to this. And it held eight cups of water, and I lost it sometime, like, around the move. I don't know where it's at, but I think it got thrown away or something on accident. So Justin got him one to start drinking more water, and then he was going to put, like, some tea and stuff in it to take to work. And... I was like, I need to get me one too, so that I'll start, so I can keep track of how much water I'm drinking. So, um, it's just a 64 ounce. Well, I guess it's a little more than 64 ounces, because the line right there is 64 ounces. So, it could be a little bit more than that, but anyway, it's at least eight cups, so we're going to try and start drinking that, huh? 
Justin drank his yesterday, actually. The first the first day he tried it, he drank it all. I did. I think I've had like two bottles of water. You did today. take a sip out of it. I did take one sip. But um I think I've drank two bottles of water today, or one and a half, something like that. So um I'm gonna see how much of that I can drink in the rest of the evening. But it is already 5.45, so I don't know how much I'll get drunk, but we're going to try. So as you can probably tell, I've already taken a few bites, but this is the food I was talking about. It's just got zucchini squash. Um, we usually do red bell pepper, but Walmart didn't have any good, any that looked good. So we got orange and onion, and then it's just on top of some rice, and it's pretty good. I just put garlic powder, onion powder, salt, pepper, and um, red pepper flakes is what I usually put. But you can use like a Cajun seasoning or... You know, however you want to season it, it's up to you. Okay, guys, so I've spent the last probably 45 minutes or so reading my book. Um, and that's it. Justin's been playing the game with my brothers. And I think I'm going to go get in bed and charge my phone and probably watch a couple of videos and go to sleep. Because I'm pretty pooped for some reason. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.